Hey, this is David again. I have another video for you. It's gonna be another TCAN video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about work tables. So I'm gonna show you how to get into a work table, what a work table means, and how do you manipulate a work table. All a work table is, is a graphical representation of all of this, <laughs> okay? If you wanna know what a carrier is, these are the carriers, and this is how you lift these guys in. You click this tab, push it in, and this is how you take these guys out. So this is the carrier. So carriers are like immovable parts, right? Labware is the stuff that you put on top of it. Like, you know, like tips would be kind of like a form of labware. Um, um, like this guy would be a form of labware. So just, you know, um, or a, a deep well plate would be a form of labware. So just things that you could put on and off are labware and carriers. Well, obviously they carry the labware hence the name carrier. So let me show you where all of this is represented within the software, and that's called a work table. So let's get into work tables. Say for example, here's a method that I have, okay? Where you find where the work table is, not here in the script, but more in the method. So here's the method. And if you look under script name, if you click this little arrow, that's where the work table is hiding. So you can change the work table from there and save it. So that's how you change work tables background. That actually took me a while to find. So let's go over the menu here. So this is the work table down here. It's a graphical representation of what you actually have on your robot. So let's go over the buttons. This one is kind of your tops down view. It's a default view. This one over here is a natural view. It gives you kind of um, an angled view so you can see the 3D nature of it. This is kind of important sometimes if you're having a trouble selecting the carrier versus the labware. So sometimes having that angle allows you to se select what you need. This is the rotate. So sometimes if you wanna be able to rotate up and down and left and right to kind of see you know, your work table a little bit more clearly, that's what it is. This is the pan. This is just left, right, up, down, but you're not really rotating anything. And these are your zoom buttons. So this is the zoom in and this is the zoom out. The way that carriers and labware is arranged is by these grid positions right here. So you can see here it starts with A, B, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and blah, 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 all the way to Z. The very first most left position is the position where your carrier sits. So you see this one, you know, it covers 19 to 24, but this is gonna be considered position 19. If you look at this one, this is, you know, 31 to 36, but it's still gonna be considered um, position 31. And then sites are the positions from top to bottom of the carrier, right? So this is site one, site two, site three, site four, site five, site six. So if I click on this labware over here, and I click on labware details, you can see this is grid 19, site five, right? So grid 19, site five. So you can always click on labware details and understand, okay, what is it that I'm clicking out on exactly? So say for example, I'm on a carrier, it will show me the types of labware that I can put on it. So for example, if I wanted to put deep wells on it, then I can just simply drag and drop, right? See, just drag and drop, just drag and drop. And then if you wanted to edit the specific labware, if you wanted to change the name, you could just click on, right click on that and click edit. And then you can do your general settings where you can name it whatever you want. You can do the positionings and position it however you want. So that's just kind of the general overview of work tables. Once you line up all the work tables, then when you're, when you're coding and you're programming, you just want to make sure you're referencing the right uh, labware. And that's where you use this little labware details. And generally, you can only put the right type of labware on the right carriers. Like you couldn't put pipette tips on these nests here. Well, if it's SPS, it would work, but you couldn't put hanging you know, pipette tips on these carriers here. That's the video for work tables. I hope that was helpful for you. If you like this type of content, like, subscribe, tell me in the comments below what kind of videos you want to see, and I'll do my best to try to get to everything. All right, see you in the next one.